morning. FEMA Region 5. What's up, my FBI agent? How you guys doing? I haven't posted in a while. And I thought about it. Took a vacation. Took the boys down to central Indiana. We went to the... Uh, to the replica of Noah's Ark. We went to the Creation Museum. We went to college museums. We went to county museums. We went to parks. One of the parks was called Fossil Park. It was super cool. We just bought mud boots for the boys. I threw them in the Jeep. Just in case. Sure enough, there was a gigantic wall of clay that supposedly 460 million years old. We had to go, go across the creek to get to it. Every layer, well, every other layer of this clay wall, this clay cliff, which is probably 60 foot tall, was loaded with fossils. The kids loved it. I enjoyed it too. <laughs> but before I could say, don't, their boots are full of water. all kinds of shallow spots walk on the rocks nope right in the deep spot too funny no good weather no good weather it was cold it was rainy it was cloudy but the kids had a blast did you know Annie Oakley was from Indiana neither did I that's a cool chick, man. She did a lot of good things. One of the things I noticed was a star fort in Indiana. Nothing elaborate like what's around the world. But it was the exact same shape as a star, shape, uh, star fort. Pretty interesting. Then, in another museum, we found, well, I found a map. I don't, I can't remember the date of it. I think it was 1859. 1859 world map. It still had Tartaria on it. Look that up. That's some crazy stuff right there. The Star Forge is cool as hell, too. Something else to look up. But we got to see all kinds of stuff. Mummies. 3,000-year-old mummy. The professor goes to Egypt in the 18... I think it was 1890s. He's walking around the streets of Egypt and finds a sarcophagus and a mummy for sale on the streets of Egypt. Unbelievable. That was super cool. Damn good time. So yeah, I didn't I didn't really post anything because I was so far out. We picked up the uh, the hotel room, the shoebox, because there was four of us. That was funny as heck. But I actually made it back home with a little bit of money in my pocket and a few bucks in the bank. So that was nice. Uh, I was sweating this vacation. And I had some money. But when I think about all the things that I could have done with that money, amazing. I got concrete to pour in the yard. We got a deck to put on the back sunroom. I'm still
still dealing with the pay cut and the hour shortage. So it's it's been it, that that was stressful. That was stressful. But anyways, that arc that arc called I think it's called the arc counter. That's cool as hell. If you haven't checked that out, it's uh, in Kentucky, and it's a exact replica of the Ark. Super cool. We went there five years ago with two other grandbabies, and I was blown away. Blown away. So I knew the kids would love it. But, but, in the last five years, I've learned so much about ancient history. I had trouble swallowing all this stuff. Talking about uh, humans being 6,000 years old. Well, we know, we know that they were, they're older than 6,000 years. We're talking 12,000 and beyond. So there's a lot of stuff going on in there that I had a hard time dealing with. And how do you tell your grandbabies that this is wrong? I have to wait till they get older and sit down with them and show them, hey, look. I'm trying to teach them that everything is a theory. Some people think this, some people think that. What do you think? <laughs> Try to get their brain working. Uh, speak of brain working. The 11 year old. We have worked hard with that kid. Hard with that kid on his path. So we ask him what's two plus five? Seven. We give him his paper to do the work, and he'll write down six. It's, it's just amazing. How much is four from five? Four minus five. Five minus four. And he'll tell you it's one, and then write down two. problem is when he goes to school if he's doing the same thing, which he is, uh, it's making my wife and I look like we are not working with him at all. Dude, that's kindergarten stuff. Second grade best. Oh God, how frustrating. But anyways, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Everything's cool. We're getting, we've got starts for the garden. It's time. Put your seeds in the dirt. Start them inside. Get them growing. Then it's real easy to transplant them. Because I still believe that healthy food is the way to go. And food is going to become an issue already an issue. We could go anywhere without spending 45, 45 to 55 dollars for meals. And not once did we have lunch this week, that week, because we were running. We were all over the country. Yeah, anyways, I want to touch base with you guys. sure everybody's cool and I don't know how much more of these I'm going to do which I've said before but it's getting to that point where if you haven't 
up in the last three years, wasting your breath. So just work on yourselves. I'm very impressed with uh, staying grounded, staying with this workout. That's cool. That's great, man. And you don't have to do like he does. He's a young man compared to me. Okay, praying for you, praying for the world, peace.